What's up guys? It's me, Sir Ernest, and today we're going to solve problem 2.38 of Griffith's 4th edition. The problem reads, A metal sphere of radius R carries or carrying charge Q is surrounded by a thick concentric metal shell of inner radius A and outer radius B, as shown in the figure. The shell carries no net charge. So in this video, we're going to solve letter A, wherein we are asked to find the surface charge density sigma at radius R, at inner radius A, and at, at, and at outer radius B. Okay? So, this is an example of a system that involves conductors. So this is your metal sphere of radius R and this is your spherical shell. We're in the inner shell is A or the inner radius is A and the outer radius is B. Okay, so this is a solid sphere and this is a hollow shell of two radii. Now, since the metal sphere is a conductor, so that means we can say that the net charge that it carries are found at the surface. So if Q is positive, therefore those charges reside at the surface because this is a conductor. So what does it mean? Okay, it means that the net charge of this sphere, of this metal sphere, re that resides at the surface, okay, tells us that we can calculate the surface charge density, sigma, sorry, this should be sigma, should be sigma at radius r, to just be the total charge at the surface divided by the area of the surface. So this is now Q over 4 pi R squared. And then we assume that this is positive. Okay? So this is the charge density at radius R. Now this, re this sigma here at the surface attracts the negative charges in this metal shell okay so this means that in the inner surface or in the inner surface of this metal shell negative charges are attracted to the negative charges so this is induced charge at the inner That's, as a result okay as a result uh, this will cause an accumulation of negative charges at the inner part, but because the shell carries no net charge, equal amount of charge will uh, go on the outer surface of the shell at radius B. Okay, so these are the induced charges on the metal sphere because of the net charge of the inner or metal sphere at the center. Okay, so this, as I mentioned before, this will cause an accumulation of negative charges on the inner radius of the shell. Thus, the surface charge density here, so sigma at A, will just be equal to negative Q because remember this R uh, the because this charge is induced by these charges so the amount of these charges will be equal to the amount of these charges but opposite in signs so this will now be equal to negative Q over 4 pi A squared okay and this is less than 0 
Okay? Okay? So as I mentioned again before, let me repeat again, that since the metal shell is electrically neutral, a positive net charge will now accumulate on its outer radius. And the resulting charge, density sigma, would be sigma b equals q over 4 pi b squared. And this is supposed to be positive. Okay? As you will notice here that their charge densities are the same even though their charges are or net charges on their surfaces are the same. And that's because these charges are actually spread more as you increase the radius of your spherical surface. Okay? So that's it. That's a very simple uh, solution to problem 2.38. Letter A of Griffith's fourth edition. So in the next video, we're going to solve the next part of this problem, where it it involves uh, it involves a computation of the potential at the center, where in you're going to use infinity as the reference point. Okay. So for now, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something today, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.